Now a story new at 11. The head of a local PTA is showing support for two staff members caught on tape pulling and carrying a child through school hallways. Latasha Holloway got video of her son at Rosemont Elementary. She tells us her son has autism. Investigative reporter Chris Horn spoke with the head of the PTA who's standing by the principal and the special ed teacher, Chris. Yeah, neither the two staff members face assault charges, misdemeanor assault charges, but the head of the PTA says parents are standing by them. Until now, you've seen only still images taken from the surveillance video. Tonight, we look at some of the video in motion to give you a better perspective. Latasha Holloway got this video from Rosemont Elementary, where her son used to attend. Holloway says seven-year-old Eric is on the autism spectrum. She says the treatment is outrageous and the administration won't give her son the services he needs. She was at Tuesday's school board meeting to show her concern. The Virginia Beach City Public School System says the footage from the hallway does not reflect a practice that is common and that its investigation found neither staff member was trying to hurt Eric. Both of them remain on the job. The system said what the video does not show is a significant disruption that led to Eric's removal from his first grade class. The video led Holloway to file misdemeanor assault charges against Rosemont's principal and a special ed teacher. We talked with the head of the school's PTA. She says both staff members have the PTA's support. There's a bunch of parents that are ready to rally behind our school and support our school mm -hmm. and our principal mm -hmm. um, and any of the teachers and staff at the school. Mm -hmm. so. do, you, do you think it's appropriate to handle a child that way? No, I don't, but it's, uh, I wasn't put in that situation. Mm -hmm. um, I would imagine that anybody put in that situation would have a hard time trying to figure out how to react. And Deem says she has full faith that her own children are safe when they're with any staff at Rosemont. We asked the school system about the training for the principal and the special ed teacher. And we showed the video to a child psychologist and an attorney who specializes in special education law. What effect does something like this have on other students who see it? And where were they taking Eric when they were carrying him through the hall? I'll have my full investigation Thursday at 6 in the newsroom. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.